Oh, Ed. Oh, Ed, 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 Ed. You think I've lost my touch? <laughs> That's hysterical. Um, I've lost my touch in giving you sucky movies. Um, hello. I have not. I was actually just being nice. I thought, you know what? I'm not going to give him a sucky movie. I'm going to be nice. And I'm going to let him, you know, watch a movie that isn't that bad. Because I felt like you've been giving me movies that aren't that bad. But, um, sad to say, that's apparently what you think. <sighs> anyway, Ed, did you forget that we have all these movies here? These are all 80s movies that I have for you, buddy. Did you forget? Did you forget that? I was being so nice with Chomping Mom. But, um, I I'm going to make you pay for that statement. Losing my touch. Oh, you're going to pay for that statement. So, before I even get into what movie I want you to review, I'm going to go into what the point of this video is, is to review your movie. Now, I just finished watching your video, and you gave me Batman and Robin, and you already said you know I would love it, and you're right. I do love it. I love all the Batman movies from the 90s, and Batman and Robin is actually my absolute favorite of all the movies that they've done, because it has... Um, Poison Ivy, who actually is my nickname amongst two of my friends. We all have, like, these superhero, or in my case, villain names. And, um, they gave me Poison Ivy. So, I don't, I don't even want to know why they gave me Poison Ivy, but they gave me Poison Ivy. I love that. I loved Uma Thurman's acting in that movie, um, I love seeing Alicia Silverstone, clearly. I mean, I was a clueless lover, so of course I like Alicia Silverstone. Um, oh my god, it's just an awesome movie. So basically, it's Batman and Robin, and Batman's butler, his niece, his butler Alfred, his niece comes to visit, and she is like this daredevil that's into all these things, and she subsequently becomes Batman girl. And they're trying to fight Arnold Schwarzenegger's character of Mr. Freeze and Uma Thurman's character of Poison Ivy. And um, they both eventually try to team up to conquer Batman, Robin, and Batgirl. But clearly, as in every movie, which is so predictable, good prevails over evil always. So that's a pretty quick synopsis. I'm sure a lot of people have seen Batman and Robin. Um... The, my favorite part of the movie, I think, was um, when Poison Ivy went to go kiss Robin, and he didn't die, and she's sitting there like, what the fuck? And then he pulls up, and he's like, rubber lips. <laughs> it's such a typical um, 90s action movie. Um, in fact, I have a pretty bad 90s movie that I now, thinking about it, want you to review, and you know it's bad because the Hulk is in it. I enjoyed the movie. I didn't think it was that bad of a movie, but seeing as what kind of a critic you are, you may not like it, but that's not the movie I'm going to have you review. Oh, no. In fact, this video is probably going to be the shortest video in the history of any video review that I've ever done for you. Um, just because, like, this is laughable. You gave me Batman and Robin. Furthermore, you gave me a movie that you knew I was going to like. So, kudos to you for knowing that. Um, hmm. interesting. But like I said, I'm going to make you pay for saying that I was losing my touch. So the movie I want you to review, it is on Netflix, and it is called Mountaintop Motel Massacre. It is from 1986, and I want you to watch this movie. I want you to watch it. I want you to embrace it. And granted, maybe, nope, nope. Just know, just know, I'm going to make you pay. Oh, I'm going to make you pay. Because like you said, I own you in the 80s. And apparently, I'm owning you in the 90s. I mean, really? Really? Let's let's review what 90s movies you've had me watch. Double Team. Liked it. Mall Rats. Love it. 13th Floor. Tolerable. Something memorable in my mind. Then again... I took philosophy, and that was more on the philosophical side. In fact, let me help you out here. I'm a big horror fan. I'm a big fan of serial killers, murderers, 
murder mysteries, things like that. I like things that um, I get to kind of try to solve the end. That might help you. Um, and honestly, my taste in movies are constantly surprising me because I didn't think that I would enjoy Iron Man, and I did. I enjoyed all the Spider-Mans. Um, of course, Doc Ock is my favorite, which was Spider-Man 2, I believe. Um, I did see the last Spider-Man that came out this summer. Oh my god, my hair looks crazy right now. Sorry. Um, yeah. So, you know what, Ed? You know what? This is, this is, this isn't even the beginning of payback. You're going down. So, uh, yeah. The movie is a Mountaintop Motel Massacre, 1986 on Netflix. I will be anticipating your review. Mm-hmm. <laughs>